Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. My dad's texting me. Oh, thanks, Prof. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk to you later. Yeah, Dad, not right now. My goodness. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <coughs> you show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. <laughs> There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and... I'm going to be representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school sp Weird town? Do you think our case- I'd take a normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. David Mason. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always to get him. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan Prescott? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay. <coughs> but that 
doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. Yeah. That doesn't explain everything, of okay. course. Uh, Frankly, we don't know yet. Ew, Nathan. Well, Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweed bitch. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your, father. your sugar daddy will always protect you. Sugar daddy. And threaten me. <laughs> you don't know shit about uh. my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you. Except this business, understand? Now get out of my face. Holy shit, what do you want now? Kate Marsh. I bet you hoped that Kate stay quiet. Idiot says. Did you drug you or Max? Goddamn smart. Don't, girl, you don't want me for an enemy. You down, dude, in the diner. Right, plus, you're an adult now. I can sue you, devil. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. <laughs> what? Holy shit, what? Shut up. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I saw you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down. Hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. They'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy shit. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> we'll so... chat later, Max. Okay. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. We'll chat later, Max. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? Gee, sell any bottle to feed me and my... I work for a living. Boiled with time on your... But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. No. How the hell am I supposed to get this? We'll chat later, Max. By the way, Frank. <laughs> oh, yeah. But. But nothing. How do I do this? Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Oh, 
closed. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. <clears throat> there she is. Super. Thanks, Officer Bear. I'm glad you're representing Black. Prescott deal? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What the fuck? Save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. You eat so like quick. a pig. Stupid. Take. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Nice. There's a nice girl that keeps getting hit. Are you shitting me? Ramu, rewind. Alyssa, move. Are you... Alyssa, watch out! I'm gonna save for epic, like every We're time, guys. Mouse. I will. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Kate's my friend. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person, my friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. 
I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. That sounds good. Thank you, Alyssa. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Throw in the parking lot. I don't want to get it run out. Get the over. treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Uh, I'm not gonna kill him in the fucking rope. Dumbass. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Oh, God. Of course Frank gets them. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Ugh. How can somebody live like this? Crappy Wi Fi out here. It must take him days to download a porn. Yep. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Whoa! I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Sucks when I keep cutting her off when she makes comments. No prize here. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh, what is that? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. What? 
I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. It's a fucking weird ass name. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things that I have here and smile when I think of us together. Just Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart R.A. What? I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act the way that way and the next time will be the last. I am a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. I wonder what he did. We need to show Chloe this. Chloe. She's gonna freaking not. It like makes it. me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you kill on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit, who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Chloe. Find your dogs just outside. I bet you if I Chloe, threw the dog by the, the bone down by the road, it would have hit him. for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Uh, Rachel and Frank. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price, you better take that back. Right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, horse, hello? William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're still here. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. What is happening? Stop being a fucking bitch.
Oh my god. What is happening now? Are my powers evolving? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is can't here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in crates. time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crates. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it's I dead. love William like he was in my own so family. I won't let him die today. I to. won't. The real cook here. Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. Oh no. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue young queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Score! I don't like messing with the past. That's not a good idea. <sighs> Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just... Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? 
uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, uh, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Stop him from freaking going out there. Ugh. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. Why are my keys under here? You can't and no stop Chloe it. and Max wine tastings. Times am I gonna have to try to stop the friggin' <laughs> crap? I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at... I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Changed way too much. You were such a hold up. I knew you'd look up with that. 
could not pay $150 for a concert. I heard of the Vortex for parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Going to be wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. <laughs> I told you, everything changes. Well guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.